hello welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is louise welcome thank you for popping along and having a look so today i thought we'd just have a chat a few things health some things i've been thinking about since last year that i didn't mention before because i'm one of them people that i think about something and then i don't act upon it because it really won't i weren't that bothered um and some help hopefully you can help me with some things so first of all health okay if you are new here i have fibromyalgia and probably about i think we're coming up for about three months ago uh, the three months now that i've had uh, plantar fasciitis but only got diagnosed with it right before christmas um so the foot is no better it's painful in different ways but i found now that it's actually exaggerating fibro i don't think that's the right way of wording it so over christmas um like right after christmas things got really bad like my energy levels and stuff it was just horrible there for a while and i just thought oh, it's just a normal flare it just things are going on it, like when you have a certain amount of pain like with my foot so what you would do is you walk differently because you're trying to avoid as much of the pain as possible but that's affecting different muscles and in turn the fibro is making it worse so at the moment we're at i'm on my second no third day at work i went back on friday after having three weeks off i think it was in total heating as usual if you've been here for a while you know that's a regular thing uh yeah so it's become an issue shall we say um i've mentioned before that i have a high pain threshold so i'm dealing with it um but i know i'm dealing with you know having a high pain threshold doesn't mean you don't feel the pain it just means you can deal with it better and i'm dealing with it but it's getting to a point where it's a it's start, things are starting to affect my life in a negative way i am going to be all over the place with this conversation <laughs> because <laughs> that's just way my brain works and i didn't write notes because that's not the way i work i don't do the whole notes thing unless i'm just like bullet points but i've only got three main bullet points one was health the other one is okay so this thing that i've been thinking about for a while this goes back to when i went to great yarmouth last year it was i think there was a seed was sown so um Corey had said to me mum don't take this the wrong way um, but i'm glad you're going away i get some time in the house to myself totally get that he didn't mean it in a bad way he loves me he loves spending time with me but i get that totally get that that started to make me think okay he's ready to be on his own i'm ready to be on my own i've never actually lived on my own i've never been on my own i've always, you know i had kids young i was with a long-term what well, their dad <laughs> long-term boyfriend long-term dad <laughs> um we were together for a lot of years before we even had children and so i've you know and then i had the kids so i've always had the kids um I, you know i still have the kids but <laughs> we're ready to live on our own and i've been thinking about it for a while Corey absolutely loves his house i can't afford to, afford to move out he couldn't afford to move out so that's one of my seeds was that i'm gonna save for a house i need to get my money up i need to think of any avenues of money that i can think of to get to a place where i can purchase a house that actually connects now with the last subject which is i've now realized work or my work um negatively affect neg negatively affects my health con conditions so i need to find something else i can't go into you know the physical work even though i enjoy it it's it's when i get back from work it's taking me the entire day to get over it so I've got no life at all. Like, I can't do anything. I can't plan anything. It takes me the whole weekend to get over things like, yeah. So the bit where I was gonna ask you if anybody has any like advice, any, any suggestions, anybody knows of anything that they could recommend or they, you know, they know of a job opportunity. I've been searching now for a, a good few weeks on all the the job sites you can think of um i've been typing in all sorts of different avenues of making money homework is you've got to be highly skilled for most of the ones that i've been finding are like you've got to have medical qualifications or you've got to have worked in 
call centers already well i did years and years ago i can't go into a, a job where i'm in sales because i'm the sort of person that i would phone you to sell you something and i'll end up purchasing something from you sales just is not my thing so then i started thinking out trying to think outside the box uh passive incomes clearly youtube is a passive income but it's not something i could give up work for to give you an example, I think I got monetized June or July last year, and I've made enough to pay one week's rent. That, you know, like six months or whatever, one week's rent. So that's not a, um, I can give up work for. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been trying to look at anything. I, I don't know. This is what I'm hoping that, I'm thinking two streams, aren't I? I'm just thinking internet and like social media and, homework they're the only two options i can think of so don't know i'm hoping somebody might have a suggestion you might have an idea of something i've not thought of or you might have an opportunity for me who knows see this is what i was thinking like these videos get the midweek videos i can get four five hundred views so that means four or five hundred brains out there we can think of something surely um I, I, i'm not against working I absolutely want to work. I, I'm not going to, you know, with Fibro, I pretty much could go on benefits if I wanted to. That's not me. I I, I can't do it. I, I get too much of a kick knowing that I've earned my own money. But I can't carry on like this. Um, I, I've literally got no life at the moment. Um, I struggle to do anything. I mean, the Christmas tree still up because I physically haven't had the opportunity to do it because if I'm not, you know, sat with my feet in um, the foot spa or I'm elevating it or I'm putting me you a know, massage in it or, um, you know, it might be a day where I'm extra tired because of the fibro, which I've been pretty good with. It's not, that's not been too much of an issue recently. It was over Christmas, but it's not so much now. Um, there isn't enough hours in the day apart from that it's like you know making the dog's food or you know like those bits i don't really have enough in me to do anything else so i need to find other streams of income um and like i said i want to move out as well so i'm also thinking of other streams of income to have enough money to buy a house i know this is huge like most people don't get this opportunity and stuff but if you know i can't there's no point in me having this thing in my head and never acting upon it if even if i get nowhere at least i'm gonna try and get somewhere <laughs> if that makes any sense this is a weird chatty vlog i told you so those are the main three things that i actually came on here to talk about another thing i'm just gonna mention this so i do have an instagram if you're not um on my instagram if and you do do instagram the link's down below if you wanted to pop along. I started calorie counting as of yesterday. I did really well yesterday. Um, I didn't do the, like, count every single calorie. Like, you know, I had salad and I didn't really count it. Like, I just judged, oh, that could be, like, 50 calories or whatever. Today, I've literally weighed everything to the to the gram. <laughs> and I'm write, writing it down. I'm not set on any specific calories. I'm just watching what I'm doing. And I'm trying to cut out more of the bad foods and, the, and adding a little bit more of the good foods in i did take a picture of my breakfast i will put that on and i calorie counted so i'm going to put the calories on there i'll put it underneath this is not going to be a diet channel um knowing me when it comes to things like this i might be calorie counting for three days and then that's it it's done right now it's working so i'm just gonna stick with it and i do need to lose lockdown weights is what i'm like since the beginning of lockdown i've put on a chunk of weight and i need to get back at least to lockdown weight, like pre-lockdown weight for a number of reasons you know health is always going to help with health having less weight my feet are carrying around always good thing um getting into my clothes some of my clothes get a little bit tight uh yeah so if you're interested in that sort of thing don't forget i'll be posting those those things on on um instagram 
I'm also going to start recording when I'm cooking these meals because like clearly when I'm calorie counting I'm gonna have to cook better as well I'm actually gonna have to cook rather than just shove something in the active fryer or whatever um, I am very much not into meat so I am using a lot of meat alternatives not a veggie still I'm not no intention of being veggie i'm just really not into it at the moment so don't know how much you're gonna care out of this one i don't know if any of this has made sense i hope it does i always feel like when i do these videos that it, i've just talked a load of rubbish for <laughs> 10 15 minutes or whatever and you turned off like two minutes in and i don't blame you if you did but i usually get good feedback so don't worry like you're okay you didn't sound as bad as you think you did so yeah, I did do the health update mainly because people have, like, a number of people have asked and they're checking up on me, which is really nice. And I, I thank you for your concern. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to leave it there for this one. <laughs> I just wanted to get this out in the world, whatever it is, you know, like, there's words for it that I can't think of off the top of my head because you know what I'm like. You know, where you send things out in the universe and you're supposed to get things back. So I thought, well... I, I, my brain works in a very specific way. I'm very specific way. Whereas I think with what I'm aiming for now, trying to get out of the, the job that I'm in into a different type of job, um, passive incomes. Um, I, say, I say the word passive income. I didn't even know what it was until it popped up and I, I researched it. So basically, passive income, if you don't know, I know most of you probably do, is just like YouTube where you do something and then you can be making money off of that when you're not doing it anymore. So like, you know, my videos that I've already done in the past can be making me money even though I've done them. So that's passive income. I have no issue working, like I said, for even with passive income you have to work i'm not against work i have to put that out there just the physicalness of the job i have is too much uh, they have offered uh, lower duties but it's not going to benefit me i mean lower duties would be going on tills sitting on a chair uh great but our tills are not designed that way they're designed for standing so the movements of like me sitting for hours at funny angles to try and do it is gonna cause worse troubles with my fibro and I only know that because I used to do tills and just that standing still for that amount of time I used to get aches and pains before fibro so I'm definitely gonna get it now so that's really not I don't want to just change slightly but still in being in ish the same situation I actually want to improve my situation so there you go be interesting to see if anybody's got some good ideas you I, I do appreciate all your comments as well my last video so many suggestions on the um the container the uh freezer container loads of suggestions really appreciate it. some i sort of knew but i hadn't thought of so great and some that i actually didn't know about so i have to research some of them um but yeah i really do appreciate it when you do comment and you help try and help me out as much as possible because it does mean a lot thinking of doing a pasta meal tonight the one with the philadelphia if you was at my hall on saturday um i bought the philadelphia to do a meal and broccoli so i think i'm going to do that tonight and i will record that so that will be coming again that will be after this this should be going up tuesday night i'm recording this tuesday dinner ish time gonna edit and get this well up because i think this needs to go out there in the world so yeah appreciate any help that anybody has any suggestions anyone has um i'm looking at something that's going to sustain me sustain my bills not something that i can just like sell something on ebay because that wouldn't work because that'd be a one-off payment i need something that is going to pay my bills thank you very much for listening i do appreciate you all i uh, hope you're having a good week even though we're only on day two of the week technically sending you all my love i appreciate all of you and i will see you in the next one bye